Hey there, welcome back to Clip Studio Paint Quick Tips. My name is Scott Drummond and I'm a comic artist and illustrator. Today we're going to be learning a super quick and easy way to add awesome looking screen tones to your drawing. But hey, this is Quick Tips, so let's not waste any more time and jump right into it. Adding screen tones can be a great way to give your drawings a ton of extra dimension, or even just add a cool stylized look. Whether you want your comics to look like a classic sci-fi biker gang manga, or have the look of an interdimensional arachnid superhero, there's one thing for sure. Screen tones really help make your comics pop. And in Clip Studio Paint, they're really easy to make. Let's add some screen tones to this drawing. Just make a new layer by clicking the New Layer button in the Layer Palette. Make sure your layer is set to gray or color, since this won't work in monochrome mode. Then, use your Marquee Lasso tool to select the area you want a screen tone in. Then, just grab an airbrush and change your color to gray by clicking the swatch in the Color Set palette. I'm going to pick 40%. Now we can brush some shadows into his jacket. Right now it's just gray, which isn't exactly what we want, but we can easily turn this gray into a screen tone. In your layer properties, just hit the screen tone icon. Now our airbrushed gray has turned into a screen tone. Pretty easy, right? You can change how many dots per inch are there by adjusting the frequency here. Making the frequency smaller gets you fewer, bigger dots, and making it larger gets you more, smaller dots. If I want to add onto other layers, it's just like coloring. I can change to a different gray, select the area I want to tone, and brush it in. The best part is that it works with any mark you make on this layer. So you can sort of color in grayscale using the screen tones with your full range of tools like brushes, the fill tool, and erasers. I like to use a combination of all of these to get a really dynamic look. I also try to choose grays that are 40% and above, since going lower than that makes a weird checkerboard pattern that I try to avoid. It even works with photos. Once you've applied your screen tone, you can use the tone curves to adjust the photo to get it just right by going to Edit, Tonal Correction, Tone Curve. And that's pretty much the basics. There's a lot more stuff you can do with screen tones and some pitfalls you're going to want to avoid. So make sure to subscribe to see our videos all about that that are coming up. Thanks so much for watching. Now get out there and make some great comments.